What's going on guys this is me Mehdi Shakil and you are watching SS Tech Tutorial. So guys today in this video I'm gonna show you that how you can install macOS Big Sur on your Windows computer using the virtual box. I already make a video about installing macOS Big Sur using the VMware workstation but that video only works for AMD PC not Intel based PC. But in this video I'm gonna show you a way using the virtual box you can follow this video guide and install macOS Big Sur that will work both on AMD and Intel based PC. So further ado let's get started. So guys here you can see my computer screen. So first of all what you need to do you need to open up your browser and go to Google then search for virtual box. Then go to this official website virtualbox.org and from here click on download and download the VirtualBox software according to your operating system and install it on your computer. Then after that scroll down and here you will get an option called VirtualBox extension pack. Click here and it will download a extension pack for VirtualBox. Then after downloading just double click on that extension pack and it will get automatically installed in your VirtualBox. I had already downloaded and installed VirtualBox in my computer so let me open my virtual box. Here it is. Here you can see I have already installed three virtual machines in this virtual box. Okay. So this is the setup where we're gonna run a macOS Big Sur in Windows 10 computer. And now you need to download two more things. Here are they. You have to download this macOS Big Sur ISO file and a TXT file, whatever I will add in my description below. In my description, you will get a link and from that link, you can download both this macOS Big Sur ISO file and this code txt file. You have to download both of them. I'll put the link in the description below. Now let me show you how to install it in VirtualBox. So first of all, open up your VirtualBox, then click on new and name it as Big Sur. Remember, you have to name it same like me. Do not change it. Name it Big Sur like this. Then click on type and from here select Mac OS X and from the version select Mac OS X 64 bit. Then click on next. Now here you need to assign a RAM for your virtual machine. Here I am gonna give 8 GB because I have 16 GB RAM installed in my computer. So I am gonna give this virtual machine half of the RAM 8 GB. Then click on next. From this option select create a virtual hard disk now and click on create. And from this option select virtual disk image. Then again click on next. Keep it dynamically allocated. Again click on next. And now here you need to assign a hard disk size for your virtual machine. Here I am gonna give 100 GB. Then click on create. So the basic configuration is ready. Now we have to make some changes into this setting also. So select this macOS Big Sur virtual machine. Then click on settings. Then from here go to advanced tab and enable the share clipboard so that you can copy paste from your virtual machine to your main host computer. Then go to system and uncheck this floppy drive. Then go to processor. And here give the maximum CPU you can in this virtual machine. Here I am gonna give 7 CPUs. Then go to display and increase the video memory to 128 MB. Then from the graphics controller select VMS VGA. Then go to storage. Click on this empty option. Then click on this icon and select the macOS Big Sur ISO file. Then click on open. So every setting is ok now. Now click on ok. Now here I will suggest you to do one more thing. Increase this video memory more. So click here and increase it to the maximum level 256. So after completing all of this, click on start menu and search for CMD. Then right click on it and run it as administrator. Ok. Now you have to open the text file whatever you downloaded from the description below and open it up. 
and here you will get a couple of commands. First of all, you have to change your directory to VirtualBox folder where you installed it. So paste this command on your CMD and press enter. Okay. Now if you have Intel based PC, you have to copy all of this command and paste it on your terminal and press enter. And if you are on AMD based PC, then you have to copy all of this thing. So I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to copy all of this command from this text pad and paste it on this terminal. Then I will press enter. Okay. Now every configuration is done. Now to start the macOS Big Sur installation, just normally click on start. And it will pop up a window where you can install the macOS Big Sur. Here you can see it booting from the ISO. Here you can see the Apple logo. Now for the first time it will boot on macOS recovery mode. Again guys for the first time boot it will take some time to complete all the procedure. So you have to keep patience and wait. And whenever you complete the installation it will work faster. Only for the first time it will be slow. So you have to keep patience. So here you can see it boot up. Now from here you have to select the language and click on this icon and it will take you to macOS recovery mode and you will get this screen. Then from here click on disk utility and click on continue. And now you have to format the virtual hard drive to install the macOS Big Sur. So select the virtual hard drive from here then click on erase and name it whatever you want. Here I am going to type macOS then click on erase and it will format the virtual hard drive. You can see format is done. Now click on this done button. Then exit from this disk utility. Close it. Then you have to click on install macOS Big Sur. Then click on continue. Then again click on continue. Then you have to accept the license agreement. And now here select the virtual hard disk whatever we formatted. Then click on continue and it will start installing the macOS Big Sur into that virtual hard drive. It gonna take about 15 minutes to install. So you have to wait until the installation has been completed. Here you can see after the installation has been completed it will automatically reboot. Here guys you get the Apple logo again. So again guys this will take some time for the first time boot. So if you see and stuck on there, don't worry, just wait, keep patience, it will complete automatically. Because for the first time installation, it's gonna take some time. Okay guys, so after the reboot, you will get this screen. And now you have to do all the basic setting like the same of every operating system. You have to select your country, your region, your keyboard layout, your account, creating your user account and all of these stuff. I am going to do this now and fast forward this part. Ok guys, now I have completed every basic setting. Now it's setting up my Mac. It also going to take some time so you have to wait. Now here you can see we have successfully installed macOS Big Sur in our virtual machine. Now we can take use of it as a virtual machine in our Windows computer. But there is one more thing you have to do. If we go to full screen mode, you can see it not getting full screen. So now let me show you how to get the full screen. So for doing it, power off this virtual machine. Then again open up CMD or command prompt and run it as administrator. Then again go to the downloaded folder and open up the txt file and change your directory to the VirtualBox folder. Now here you need to type this command. And you have to change 
the resolution according to your computer display resolution. In my case, it's full HD. So I'm going to type this. Then I'll press enter. Now after that, again open a virtual box and power on the macOS Bixar virtual machine. And now you can see it getting full screen. Okay guys, now you can see our macOS Big Sur is full screen. Now we can easily take use of it like a macbook. Using this way, you can easily install macOS Big Sur as a virtual machine in your Windows based computer. No matter you are running Intel CPU or AMD CPU. It will work on both architecture or both processor. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you really like this video and enjoy this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. And guys, if you need to this channel, then please do subscribe this YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notifications.